go push the limits. Riding the supermoto today, so you know I'm not going to be staying on pavement. I'm going to go push the limits. Oh man, supermotoing it up right here. So should you get a supermoto? This is obviously a supermoto. It's got the supermoto wheels and tires on it. Uh, it's got a metal gas tank, which I'm not sure if the Enduro has a metal gas tank or not, but there are pros and cons to that as well. Um, if you're thinking about getting an enduro or supermoto and you can't decide which one to get you're in the right place so um the supermoto like this one i mean it's very rideable out out here on the trails especially if you don't uh plan on doing anything too crazy you're definitely good to go on some trails but it, the tires and wheels are made to lean a little bit more so it'll make you dive in the corners out here and it adds a lot of weight as well so uh, my reasoning for getting a supermoto over an enduro is the fact that this thing is on the streets 99 percent of the time I, I spend very little time out here tearing it up on the dirt so that's my reasoning behind it it's way more effective as a street bike but at the same time you can still take it out here and tear it up you really don't need the other tires and wheels on it um, this has inverted forks gives you a little stiffer stronger fork on it than the enduro model of this bike and this one is the 2006 uh, drz 400 supermoto so yeah they're they're both good bikes there's just a lot of pros and cons to both of them and i'm sure if you don't want a lot of street performance but you want to be able to come out here and and uh, hit these trails with more ease then the enduro is going to be the best bike for you but for me the, the supermoto was that was the best choice so and the supermoto is just just a lot heavier i don't know how much heavier i'll, I'll have to do a little research on that but with the metal tank um and the the wheels and tires on this thing looking at a pretty good weight difference i'm sure so there's there's a few good reasons um the suspension setup's probably a little different on this bike i know you've got bigger brake lines because it's designed to go a little faster than in the duro you got uh bigger not just bigger brake lines but they're designed for a bigger brake so you've got uh larger oversized brakes on it um you got a different swing arm so it's not as simple as buying the enduro and then putting these wheels on it because you're gonna have to have a different swing arm as well uh, as far as the motor i think it's the same there's no difference um, as far as what i know So I think they are fuel injected now. This one's not fuel injected. It's just the carbureted one. But I mean, you can tell it just tractors right up this stuff pretty easily. Might be a different story if it was slick or slicker. Yeah, if you're gonna just ride around, you know, neighborhood streets or slow, slow streets, not sweeping corners, and you plan on taking 
your bike out and doing this a lot, I'd probably recommend the Enduros. And it depends on what kind of Enduro you get as well. Uh, if you don't want to start, start in the dirt, an Enduro or a Supermoto is an excellent choice because most of this bike is plastic. If you go down on this thing, you're not going to do a lot of damage. So it's really not going to hurt this bike to drop it out here in the dirt. Even on the street, you might scratch up the plastic and graphics and stuff, but um, that's what it's made for. I mean, you'll just have to replace a few things and you're good to go. So, heck yeah. Awesome bike all around for beginners, all the way up to expert. Doesn't matter who you are, he's an awesome bike. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you got something out of it. Something good for a change. Or maybe not, who knows. If you want to know anything else about Supermotos or Enduros or uh, motocross bikes, whatever your question is, just let me know. 